All right, well, let's give this season's Battle Pass a review, see if it's actually worth buying. I don't see how it couldn't be worth buying. This is probably going to be a very peak Battle Pass. We start off immediately with Gwenpool. This is probably my favorite character of modern Marvel era. Probably one of the only good characters they've made past 2005, you know? And what's very interesting is that she's a super meta character. So very similar to Loki or Deadpool, she has the ability to break the fourth wall. That's actually her superpower. So I expect her to be very important to the Fortnite story. Possibly be the reason we go back to Chapter 2 OG. Because it is confirmed that after this season is Chapter 2 OG on November 2nd. Also, if you did watch the D23 event before the new season started, you should get your Pilverine plush back bling. And that's very nice. Now diving into the battle pass. This is the last time I let you pick where we drop. Oh yeah, Spider Pig. Gwen Pig, I guess? <laughs> there's Spider Pig, now there's Gwen Pig. She has her own track as well. Back playing Katanas. Here we have her glider. She actually has a Vespa. Driven by the little pool piggy. Some people were wondering. She act It's not even just faceless. She comes in street clothes. Very nice. War Machine Page. He's just got a mix he's just got a missile. He just whacks you on the head with a missile. Very subtle metaphor. War Machine himself, baby. Cause I guess they can't give you Iron Man because spoilers if you don't know in the MCU, Robert Downey Jr. is playing Doctor Doom now. So I don't expect to see a new Iron Man skin because Tony Stark is not Iron Man anymore in MCU lore. Maybe if they get another person to play Iron Man at some point. Yes, here we go. Iron Patriot. So this is news to come. For those of you guys that are not comic book fans, the Iron Patriot is actually an amalgam of Captain America and Iron Man. And it's funded by Oscorp. So if this leads to anything in the MCU, we will see Norman Osborn enter the MCU. And in fact, they're already doing the Thunderbolts movie, which I don't know how that's going to go. But in comic lore, the point of the Thunderbolts is they're kind of like the Marvel Suicide Squad and all the anti-heroes and villains end up there when they're trying to get their second chance. So there was a big old story arc where Norman Osborn was trying to pretend he was a good guy, and he ended up with a government-sponsored Iron Man suit and in control of the Thunderbolts, and he became one of the biggest villains in the Marvel Universe, and it was pretty f cool. I don't know if they'll ever do that. But yes, God bless Iron Patriot. You got your Pilverines, you got the Meow School Sabretooth collab that'll come later. Obviously got the Snicks. You can't Snicked without Bubs. He's got his own lobby music theme, okay. X-Force. Wow, they even give him a different style. Crazy. Now this one is interesting to me as well, because Emma Frost was like such a non-character in the Fox universe. I don't remember Emma Fox being important, or Emma Frost being important at all. And I don't know what she could really do for the MCU. Maybe they will do some sort of storyline just in an X-Men movie. Emma Frost is important because there's a team of villains within the X-Men universe known as the Hellfire Club. And they run a lot of the underground of the New York scene. They're, they're like a mutant Illuminati, I guess is the way to describe them. And Emma Frost is a pretty powerful telekinetic, but it's more of like mental influence, you know? So she falls in line with Doctor Doom and Mysterio, who use trickery magic, rather than just straight up battle magic. I wonder if she'll make the movie. That's really what it is. I wonder if this means she'll make it into a movie. And of course, Frost. How did I forget this? She has Colossus's power, but better. She can literally turn her skin into diamonds. So, you know, what's more powerful, steel or diamonds? <laughs> She's not as strong as Colossus, but she's definitely more durable. Also mention her little pickaxes here. Captain Jones. Yeah, they're going all in on the America aesthetic, and I'm here for it, man. Wait, so this is a double. This is actually like he dual wields these. Shield and axe. Boom, boom. He protect, he attack. But most importantly, he kiss back. Nice. I like how they're doing this. Lately, there have been less skins per battle pass with more styles within those skins and ultimately i think that's a little bit better because it keeps the skin from losing its luster you know you'll get more usability out of each skin personally 
I put a skin away every time I get a solo win with it. I just put it away. I don't touch it again. And I've regretted that decision more and more lately with these new battle passes. The purest definition of fake it till you make it. This guy doesn't even have real powers. I doubt those are even real abs. Those are probably just part of the bodysuit. But god damn it, he is standing right next to Doctor Doom on the villain squad. Mysterio A number one. And as I say that, Supernatural Mysterio. So maybe he gets blessed with powers in storyline. Mysterio's never been so important. We can all thank Jake Gyllenhaal for that, right? Mysterio kind of got cult popular with the old PlayStation 2 Spider-Man 2 game because he was pretty much the back half of that f game. I don't know if you guys remember that. In the recent movies, man, Jake Gyllenhaal made people love this character. He would not be here today without Jake. Sing your praises. We got Shuri, the new queen of Wakanda. Wait, didn't Black Panther's mom become queen of Wakanda? I, I feel like I remember them making the dumbest decision possible in that movie. And of course, obviously, you have Shuri, Black Panther, which is dope. I don't, a lot of people are going to use this. Female skins are always a bit leaner. This is black, a little bit of purple accents. It's gonna take a while for people to get this skin, but this skin is gonna pollute competitive. I'll save my grading until the end. So we got fireworks from War Machine. More America. It's weird how they save the promotional material for like the last rewards in the battle pass. Because this is what they've been using to promote the new season all week. And yet, you gotta get into your special rewards to get this. The Black Queen Emma Frost. Very nice. Oh, it's got a little bit of shimmer too. Classic Pilverine, blue or brown and yellow. Okay, that's actually very nice. Pilverine getting a lot of love. He gets three styles. And so does Mysterio. This one isn't that different though. And then these are the Crystallines. There probably won't be Diamond, actually. Because Emma Frost's whole gimmick is that she goes Diamond, there will probably not be a Diamond Crystalline. Dark Gwenpool, hello. I like that, reverse the colors. And then these come with the quests. So I think everyone will actually have three styles, it seems. Three styles minimum on every skin in this battle pass. Of course, you got Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom will also have an alternate style. He always does. This battle pass, I mean, this is a must-buy, to be honest. Well, let me caveat that. Right now, this is the first season that the Fortnite battle pass will not be exclusive forever. And by that, I mean Fortnite recently released an announcement that after 18 months from a Battle Pass's conclusion, they will have the right to put all of those skins into the item shop. For the purpose of getting all of these skins as cheaply as possible, hell yes, 100%, buy this Battle Pass. This is a 9 out of 10. It, it's a really, really good Battle Pass, and this is going to be a f peak season. So, if you want every skin, put the money down. But just know... That from now on, if you only want one skin, you can get that one skin without buying the Battle Pass. It'll just be way more expensive, and it'll be in a year and a half. So if you're the kind of psychopath that likes to wait that long for a skin to become irrelevant, and then you buy it, go ahead. That's you. Personally, I would say get this Battle Pass. You will not regret it. And these skins in here, especially Gwenpool, she's actually going to be important to Fortnite lore just because of the nature of her power set considering how disney is partnering up with epic games and the power set that gwenpool has and the future of the mcu the actual movie portions i think gwenpool is going to be a significant character for like the next year of this game 